Andy Griffith incorporated the the use of music into uh, a lot of the episodes of the Andy Griffith Show. And this is a look at um, an episode that that has some gospel music in it that uh, that they sing about. And uh, let's take a look at it, and we'll take you to the location that that the song is actually written about. <laughs> I'll have to apologize for the wind. I've got a, a dead cat on the camera to hopefully keep it from being so bad. But anyway, um, there's an episode of the Andy Griffith Show in uh, season three, episode 16. It's called A Man in a Hurry. And um, this is actually an episode where Jim Neighbors um, is first introduced to the Andy Griffith Show. Uh, the character of Gomer is introduced as the bumbling idiot uh, gas station attendant. But anyway, the story is about uh, a guy named Malcolm Tucker, and his car breaks down. And he has a meeting in Charlotte the next day. He's doing his best to get his car fixed uh, on a Sunday in Mayberry. And he just can't seem to, time is real important to Malcolm, and he, he can't seem to get over the fact that times move at a slower pace in Mayberry. After they eat lunch, Andy and Barney and Malcolm um, go to the front porch, and Andy starts to play and sing a song called Church in the Wildwood. No place is so dear to my childhood as the little brown church in the vale. And this is that church. This church is in Nashua, Iowa. And we'll walk across the street and, uh, and take a look at it and give you a little history about it and why there's a song about it. In 1856, a young music teacher, a guy named William Pitts, was traveling um, from Wisconsin to Iowa. And uh, while he was waiting for uh, the stagecoach, stagecoach horses to be changed, which was done right over here about where this pavilion is, he walked across the street here, and this was an open field. And he thought it was a charming place. It would be a charming place for a church. So he wrote a poem about it, and it was The Church in the Wildwood. Uh, he went back home to Wisconsin, put it in a drawer, and forgot about it. And in 1864, a church was actually built at this location. Now, he didn't know about it. Um, and they ran out of money, and, and they chose a real cheap paint to use on it, which is a brown paint. And that's the reason the church was originally painted brown and still is brown. Now, Pitts married and was living in Wisconsin, and... Uh, in 1862, the couple moved back to Iowa. And I just imagine their surprise when he came back by this same spot and found out that a church has actually been built there. And this is where he wrote a poem about a church being built. Um, he went home and found the poem and he put it to music. And then he taught it to his class. He had a class that he was teaching music to. And he taught the song Church in the Wildwood to his class. So this is where uh, Andy is talking about when he sings about the church in the Wildwood. This is what it was all based on. This one guy, Pitts, that wrote this song. Now this is a really popular place. Um, it's in Nashua, Iowa, and uh, it became a real special place for weddings. 
Uh, there's been over 74,000 vows exchanged here. And the song that, that Andy sings in the episode is actually still sung here every Sunday after the benediction. Another name for this church is called the Little Brown Church, and that's what you'll hear it called here in Iowa. This is what it was based on. Thank you so much for watching.